Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Meat Report. I'm Bill. That's Aaron. Hi. Let's get it on. I think today, Aaron, Aaron and I are going to continue the theme of what's the difference. Today, we were going to talk about the difference between primal cuts, subprimal cuts, retail cuts, wholesale cuts. What does no, no, all no, this no, mean? No, 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 no. When you talk about the difference... You have to keep it simple. You talk about two things. It's four things like nobody Our cares. Our viewers can get... handle it. All right, fine. They're all go tied up. in anyways. So okay. shut your mouth. <laughs> all they want to do is eat a good steak, and they want to know the difference. Imagine a cow, an entire cow carcass, steer, a steer carcass. You know, you obviously, you're not going to go to the store and see that in the meat case. It's, it's chopped up into a bunch of little pieces like steaks that you can eat. And that's where the primals and the subprimals come in. And typically, as a butcher shop, we get primals and subprimals. So these are bigger hunks of the steer that we, in turn, as butchers, fabricate into the steaks that you eat. When you go to the grocery store, those steaks have already been fabricated and cut into little skinny, skinny steaks. When you come to the butcher shop, we have primals and subprimals, which are big pieces of the steer that are sitting in our cooler or in our dry aging room. We bring those out and we cut those into individual steaks and fabricate. They call it fabricating, Aaron, when they take a primal and they cut it into individual steaks that you would find at the grocery store. What's the difference between primal and subprimal? You know, we're already two minutes into the video and everybody's already left. So oh, let's get fine. to the point. Yeah. Primal is prim, primal is a larger piece of the steer. Subprimal is broken down into a smaller size. So basically think of a full cow or a full steer. Then you have the primals, which are large portions of the divided up so that they can ship it and deliver it. And then you have the subprimals, which are a breakdown. So steer, primal, subprimals. There you go. Why does primal and subprimal matter to the end consumer these seem like wholesale terms they are because like i said you're not going to go in and ask for a, a, a you know i'd like to buy a subprimal you just want a steak it yeah. matters just because of the, i think the freshness of the product you're you know the minute you cut a steak an individual steak starts to starting to decay so when it's a bigger piece there's the decay is on the outside you have the juicy stuff on the inside who's buying this primal and subprimal product usually you're gonna wholesalers will buy that wholesalers that are distributing meat and then grocery stores butcher shops people that have experience in professional butchers that can take that large piece of meat and fabricate it into individual steaks for clients and not a lot of people can do that so a lot of rest, I mean, a lot of grocery stores, I think, receive this stuff already cut and packaged. It's a difference. It's a difference between a fresher product as opposed to something that's cut and packaged in cryovac. So that's it. Great show. Let's congratulate ourselves on a great show. I'm very thirsty, too. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. 